What's up, fellow Sambarians? Have you noticed on Yahoo Japan auctions, Yahoo Japan, Yahoo auctions in Japan that the wood green trim kits for the sandbars go for like insane amounts of yen and dollars. Uh, I think just the double din t uh, trim piece went for over a hundred bucks, just the double din trim piece. So, got a brain in there somewhere. Uh, I had this idea. What if I just printed wood grain wrap and wrapped the trim pieces that we've already got in our sandbars? I mean, if you've got one, that is. So, some of you might just be missing that altogether, which you could pick up 3D printed ones or uh, just the plain black plastic ones for super cheap. I think I sold a couple for like 30 bucks just for the single din. Um, the double din, uh, also I'm gonna wrap as well because that's, I think that is the only one that is wood trim. I'm not sure. I haven't seen a single din uh, wood trim piece yet, but um, we're gonna do a one, a single din. <clears throat> so I know you're all well if you don't have it <laughs> you're not really aware of what it looks like but this is uh, the single din trim piece on the sandbars and the Diaz and I'm guessing the Domingos I don't know I I can't imagine the interiors changed in those from the normal sandbars but I could be wrong um, I mean, this could really go for any K truck that wants some wood grain. I'm not sure what other ones have trim pieces, but it's a wrap material, so it can go on anything that is a uh, smooth plastic, not textured. These are pretty smooth, so I shouldn't have any issues sticking um, to these. So if you uh, are interested in doing such modifications to your truck, which is super easy and fairly inexpensive compared to the uh, wood trim kits from Japan. Um, this is a great alternative. So I just uh, installed the wood grain um, steering wheel in my KS4. So I was like, man, I just want some more wood. <laughs> grain. Um, let's keep it, let's keep it G rated. Um, I did install the tack today, so that's kind of cool. Big old, big old monster tag. So yeah, so I pulled the uh, trim piece out. I'm gonna show you how to wrap it if you wanna wrap it. And we're gonna see how it looks when it's done. If it looks dumb, I'm probably not gonna post this video. But if it looks cool, I'll post it. And then I'm gonna sell the wrap sheets on uh, my OK Garage uh, parts store. And you can get wrapping, for wrap of the wrapping. But, if you've never uh, removed one of these before, uh, let me just show you how you do it. Um, so it's very, very simple. There's a little, uh, uh, like a little, oh man, like a clip right here. And there's a clip right here. This one's broken because this is off my other truck. There's a clip here and a clip here. So basically you're gonna push down on the top section, unhook it, and then you're gonna go in with a trim piece tool right here inside. And you're gonna wanna, uh, I'm sorry, you're gonna wanna go in on the side and push in so it releases that clip and then it will just, it will slide out really easy. Um, I'll show you uh, in a bit, but we're just gonna do a wrap and, actually let me just show you. Let's, let's get you inside here. Come on inside, it's warm in here. It's cold outside right now. It's raining in Washington. It's been raining. Okay. Oy, 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 oy. All right. So if you want to remove, yeah, if you want to remove uh, the trim piece, uh, you start. You can start anywhere, but I'm going to start from the top. Release the two clips from up top, so those are done. And then we're gonna go on the sides right here. We're gonna kinda actually, we're gonna kinda hold it out with our fingers 
and then we're gonna go in from the side, pop that out, and be careful too, because I mean, it's old plastic. So you just need to give it some, bam, it's super easy. So yeah, this is what we're gonna wrap to match this wood grain. Let's go do it. Okay, so we have our trim piece and our wood grain print. So I kind of grabbed a wood grain that was similar in stain or wood color to the steering wheel. So it's kind of like a cherry red. So if you have that type of steering wheel, um, this wood grain will match. So first off, you're going to want uh, take some isopropyl alcohol. I'm trying to do this so we can see it. Just get her all nice and cleaned up. It's probably got some radioactive tidal wave mud on it. Uh, isopropyl alcohol 70% is what is best for uh, <clears throat> prepping surfaces for stickers or uh, or a good Windex with uh, with ammonia in it. Okay. So these are not pre-cut to size and only because it will be a lot easier if it's trimmable uh, because there's some skinny piece right there and it's just it's going to get wavy if you're trying to feed a little skinny piece of vinyl on there and I mean trimming a flat and trimming this as a flat piece is extremely easy. Um, okay. So take our air release print dispose of the trash properly for mother nature uh, let's see so we're gonna get it lined on there lined up there pretty good we're gonna take like a squeegee if you don't have a squeegee uh probably use like a your hand pretty flat but I have a squeegee with a felt tip on it a felt uh, sleeve on it so it doesn't scratch the gloss the glossy finish and then we're gonna go around the front of it Now that we've got it all wrapped on there, now we take a razor blade, exacto knife, razor blade, and we trim it. I just have these uh, vivid, vivid uh, blade. holders or you can snap them snap them off and on okay so let's let's trim this bad boy up Kind of push on it so you see where you're you're gonna be cutting. And if it's not a perfect straight cut, that's okay. You can just you can just kind of fold it over a little bit. 
plus your radio head's going to be radio head killed the radio not the star uh your deck is most likely going to be covering up uh, anything on those edges because it does kind of stick out past the trim slightly and just take your time make sure the blade is sharp so it makes for an easy clean cut so there we go i cut out the inner pocket for the head unit now we're going to trim the outer edge So just go slow around the corners. Just kind of get the flat long sections done and then go back into the corners and go around them slowly with the tip of your, with the tip of the blade so it's you're not trying to drag a huge piece of razor blade around the corner because it's not going to want to turn. Okay. And then when we're done, we can heat it up with a heat gun and then it will kind of really set, set the vinyl. Also, it's better to not cut enough than cut too much. So try to try not to cut in with the blade, cut with a slight angle. So if you have to come back, you can come back and trim any excess. Okay, so we're getting the getting the top there. Light. So you can see I'm just kind of taking my time. Ain't nobody in a hurry. all trimmed up all right so now we're just on the inner part
please do be extremely careful with your razor blade. No blood, sweat, and tears need to go into this. It's getting dull. Let's see. There we go. Okay. Let's do this side again. And if you have some overhanging, just try to get as much as you can, because any overhanging will uh, collect dirt, dust, and um, could potentially lead to a failure of the <clears throat> failure of the sticker. And it's not like you got to wrap wood. If you want carbon fiber, if your interior's more racy, do some do some carbon fibre. Do some cars on fire. Do some crabs on fire. Carson's Carson's flyer. Crabs on fire. I'm gonna clean up the edge here a little bit on the front. Kind of jaggedy. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can see. That looks pretty good. I mean, it ain't real wood, but it didn't cost a hundred and twenty bucks or whatever those ones go for. So now, what you can do after you put the decal on or the wrap. You can hit it with a little bit of heat. And that's just going to uh, set the set the glue. Obviously, you don't want to melt your trim piece, so don't melt it. Just kind of give it a good heat. Soften up the vinyl so you got some going over the edge. It will suck it in and seal it off and give it a good solid, good solid look. All right, I'd say that looks pretty good. Let's go stick it in the car. See how she, uh, see how she looks. Okay, I guess it's a little more red. So I'll probably, uh, I'll probably adjust the color a little bit. 
so it's not as a bright red but this is just a good uh show you how to do it and uh give you an idea that it can be done so let's go ahead and put her back in all right there it is the wood grain the infamous wood grain <laughs> trim piece so again it's a little more red but it still still has that so i'll probably darken it up slightly um for um purchasing this was just a kind of a test to make sure we're gonna work but man that looks pretty sick so i think what i'll do is uh probably work on the dash piece next it's a little more tricky because it is some fat curves so i may just uh do like a flat piece on the bottom here i'm not sure i'll have to i'll have to brain brain fart that one but but cool um oh yeah we're gonna do the two din so let's go do that one real quick <coughs> oh man so you've all been in my van before if you watch my other videos so here's the the trim piece i had 3d printed but we're gonna give it a wrap since it's just black so the double din um trim piece is very uh very easy just pops right out and that's what it looks without it so let's go put some uh, wood on this one and there she is wood grain just don't tell anybody it looks pretty good i just got to do a wood uh steering wheel in the in the diaz but uh yeah super inexpensive little mod that anybody can do if they got a razor blade and some time and patience but uh, cool guys thanks for watching uh, i'll have some links down below if you want to pick up one of these wood grains um Cool. Take it easy, guys.